Namaste. In this video, we shall see the scientists related to heterosis braiding. Friends, I am Varsha Gaitonde and welcome to my channel. In 1766, Kolleruter was the first scientist who made systematic experiments on hybrid vigor in Nicotiana. He demonstrated that hybrids resemble both the parents and verified the genetic contribution of pollen. In 1799, Knight gave the principle of anti-inbreeding. He demonstrated dominance and segregation in the garden pea but failed to make the building leap of brilliant leap of Mendel who initiated fruit breeding that means before Mendel only Knight attempted the concept in garden pea but after that he shifted to fruit breeding so Knight is famous for his hybridization principles in fruit breeding in 1865 Mendel worked with the garden peas and he made hybridization in garden pea in 1876 and 77 darwin came he wrote one book that is effect of cross and self fertilization in vegetable vegetative kingdom that book gave emphasis on outcrossing for more vigorous and better survival cross pollination is generally beneficial and self pollination usually is injurious in cross pollinated crops but in case of self pollination self pollinated crops it is quite beneficial to maintain their genetic integrity cross fertilization is beneficial discussed variability and evolution but doesn't have a, a rational genetic explanation in 1880 bill who first published the report of 51 percent increase in yield over parents in 1891, Johansson made pre explanation for hybrid vigor. In his experiment, he made inbreeding both the parents likely to possess same imperfections by inheritance, that is, crossing gave better offspring or better progeny than the selfing process. This further intensified in the progeny in crossing the parents usually have different imperfections which compensate each other in the progeny. In the year 1892, MacLear, who worked with inbreeding, imparted sterility and crossing imparted vigor. According to MacLear, inbreeding se sterility hota hai and crossing imparted vigor. Matlab crossing se hum vigor gain kar sakte hain. In 1917, Jones, who produced the first commercial hybrid, that is Burley Mingdenth. In 1918, he made hybrid seeds from the double cross and they were as much as the single cross yield. In 1933, Rhodes, who discovered the male sterility in maize. In 1943, Jones and Clerk made commercial exploitation in hybrid seed production of onion. In 1934, Jenkins, who made large scale screening and testing the GCA of inbreds and prediction of the performance of double cross hybrids from single cross data. In the year 1942, Tisdale made polycross technique. In 1944, Stadler made gametic selection. In 1945, Hull coined the term overdominance along with Crew in 1948 and Hull made recurrent selection for GCA concept. In 1949, Chase outlined the use of monoploids to obtain completely homozygous inbred lines in maize. In 1952, Gowen suggested that epistasis may also be involved in heterosis and inbreeding depression. Coming to the development of heterosis concept, that means the scientists who exactly worked for the concept of heterosis. The first scientist was Simpson in 1907 who made rejuvenation by hybridization in 1908 Devonport gave dominance theory which is the first theory in the genetic basis of heterosis as you know in the genetic basis of heterosis there are three principles one is dominance or uh, partial dominance then over dominance and the third one is epistasis theory in 1903 fisher for who first put forth the idea of over dominance in 1908, East and Shell gave overdominance theory. In 1912, East and Hayes 
who gives stimulus of heterozygosis that is crossing produces heterozygosis and selfing leads to homozygosis in 1914 shell coined the term heterosis in 1918 jones gave the practical utilization of heterosis hybrid vigor as hybrid vigor is the synonymous terms to term to shell's hypothesis but hybrid vigor is always associated with positive heterosis that means increased uh, leaf size or leaf area index along with increased yield or increased flower size but not with the negative terms like uh, decreased height or uh, decreased duration of life all those things in 1927 Karpencheko who developed a new species from hybrid between Rastanus and Prasica in 1944 power gave positive and negative heterosis in the same year Powell gave the epistatic hypothesis and in 1959 Williams also gave the concept of epistatic hypothesis in 1949 Mather who gave homozygous and heterozygous balance the theory is to explain the varied responses of different species to inbreeding in the year 1950 Dobson's key gave different terms like first one is u heterosis where the hybrids possess higher fitness than their parents luxuriance is the another term which is relevant to heterosis but heterosis is related to the genetic vigor whereas luxuriance is just the vigor in morphological characters but not not in terms of fitness in 1964 young long ping who initiated research on the hybrid rice and heterosis in china in 1968 Valles gave marginal over dominance concept in 1968 only Blitzer gave heterobeltosis term which increased the performance of hybrids over better parent in 1875 Wilson reported first hybrid between wheat and rye in 1889 Rimpu produced the first double fertilized hybrid that is uh, triticale then in 1976 Mackey who gave different concepts like adaptive heterosis selective heterosis heterosis for competitive ability then luxuriant heterosis labile heterosis and fixed heterosis thank you I hope this information is helpful to you and if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button keep subscribing sharing liking commenting Thanks once again.